hey guys, I finished book four. I know, who am I even? Um, and um, a round of applause, please, from everyone. I didn't bulk read it. I read this over the course of like two, possibly three days. I took my time and it helped that this was the most oh, boring part. Boring part. So I thought, look, you want ramblings, I want ramblings. So I'm going to do this in the most entertaining way possible. Uh, therefore, I provide you Middle March Book 4, The Play. Featherstone has died. That's all. Featherstone has died, therefore we shall give him the condolences he deserves. P -A -A P -A anyway, it doesn't matter because Middlemarch kicks off and this guy, the frog eyed um, stranger, he turns up his eyes. I'm here for the funeral and uh, Fred's there we got, we got Dorothea she's there and Casabon but this will this will be important later everyone's sad when the solicitor comes in and goes I'm gonna read the wills this will says the £10,000 will go to Fred and Mr Riggs get some land and everyone's like who's Mr Riggs and this one's like I am Mr. Riggs. Huzzah, it was I'm the illegitimate son. He 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 he. So everyone's like happy. Fred's, you know, he's like, oh, mate, I get my debts are all paid off. But remember, there was a second will. And he goes, the second will revokes all this. So Fred gets nothing. Fred's unhappy because he's going to become a clergyman. So he starts practicing his hymns. All things bright, debut. Default. But Mr. Riggs, ooh, Mr. Riggs, the alleged but son, he goes, I'm rich. And then he just goes. But we'll catch up with him later. During this time, Will Ladislaw is over here in Tipton um, Grange. Uh, Casabon, he's really salty because he's a pack of anchovies, but also because Will is there. But Dorothea told where is he old mr brooke i think will should stay in tipton grange and brooke goes okay Ooka -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. so that's what happens there fred's mind is business going come by ya my lord come by ya and then <gasps> mr vinci's like you're poor thus <laughs> which means that fred can't marry Rosamond, and she's upset, sad, 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 but she's not really upset because now Lydgate can, they can marry and live happy, but Vincy goes, which means be careful with your money, don't, don't be like that other person, so Lydgate, he goes back to his home, also, um, he's in the ground, dead, and, uh, these people, they've gone back home, Oh, we'll keep them there, we'll keep them there, they might come back. What happens then? What happens? Oh yeah, Lydgate is told, don't be careful with your money. So he goes, credit cards, credit card, pa, 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 pa. He's having a whale of a time, he's, he's spending left, right and centre. He doesn't care about his credit score, because that wasn't a thing back in the day, I don't believe. But he, everything's on credit with him, so he is living his life, but he's nervous. Mr. Brook is holding job interviews, and he offers... Will Ladislaw, who by the way is just a utter wet blanket throughout the entirety of this um, novel. Casabon, he's not here, and he goes, I'd like you to be my editor of the Pioneer. And Will goes, you know what boss, I, I've already written your paper, it's going to be a great paper, everyone's going to love it, it's going to be great. You put me on the streets, put me on the roofs, I'll sell loads of papers. Pat. Brooke goes for a line down but Dorothea is like walking through the town she meets wet flannel 
Will. So Will's like really getting emotional. He's like, you should marry the person you want to marry, not the person you have to marry. And says that his mum ran away, his gran ran away to love someone that his, their family didn't approve of, didn't want. And this is where the musical number of this play comes in. Come on, come, on, come follow me. Will comes in and he's thinking, I just love you. And he channels his inner baby Rexa. And he goes, I said, hey, what you do? Song. Back, back for part two. After that song, no one claps and no one wants an encore. He's gone. And then Dorothea goes to her husband, Cas Salty Salty Casabon. She goes, Will stay in, and then he becomes twice as salty. Dorothea's trying to be really helpful and understand it. And she says to Twice as Salty Casabon, Hey, why don't you write a will for Will? A will will. And that'll Put the family back together because you know what happened to his gran. Caspar's like, nah. Later on, Mr. Brook pops up, but there's another newspaper, the trumpet, and it slates him and it says, You're not a nice person. And Brook's like, Oh, well, what am I gonna do? Oh, by the way, this newspaper, the trumpet, the slates off Mr. Brook is with James Chetton. Remember? Yes, James. Yeah, so James is happy, but, but Brook's sad. He's a sad, sad man. So he hears that. Ah, oh, Darcy, Darcy, Dagley, Dagley said is poaching, and that's bad. Um, so he goes to the house, and Dagley's dad's there, and he goes, tell your son to stop poaching. And Dagley goes, ah, I read in the paper, mate, the you're a crap, you are. And that's the last we hear of Dagley. Fred is now on his way to be a clergyman, and he's like, um, think of him, Kira, come on. Um... Think about him. Why don't you remember any him? In the bleak midwinter, frosty wind made me whole. Was Rosetti around this time? No, she's late. This. So you couldn't have sung this. You have to sing something else. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wild world. And then Mary's like, I remember what who had the whole wild world in their hands. It was Featherstone. It was Featherstone and his will. And I was too lazy to just carry out the damn act of just getting rid of one will. So she feels really bad The Fred's off, but he's off. That's it, I don't know if we're gonna hear from him again. You see Joshua Rigg enter his stepdad's house and goes, shut up stepdad, I'm not giving you anything. I'm giving my mum money, like an allowance. So no, that's it, that's that scene. And then Dorothea, where are you? I'm twice as salty Casabon, they have a domestic. Casabon's like, I can't be bad that Dorothea likes Will. She has no intention. So he loses some saltiness. But they have a domestic so much that they sit in different rooms and refuse to eat together. Um, so yeah, they send each other messages back and forth like 13-year-old kids across a classroom. Um, but Dorothea, she waits outside the library for Casper. They hold hands off to the sunset, probably to have some tapas. And that was the end of Middlemarch Book 4, the play. Um, this won't be in your local theatre. It will not be shown on screenings. I doubt it will be ever commissioned, but know that you will always have a home here. Uh, this was a slog. Th th this, th this book was a slog. I just, I, the pacing's off for me. The pacing's off for me now. I said at the beginning of this journey, the classics, are something that I always struggle with and this journey with the people watching these videos, the people who are engaging in the Discord and engaging with Claire's channel and her videos, like without you I probably would have just given up but I'm not going to give up, I'm going to get to the end of Middlemarch and hopefully we can all have a good time even if we are not, <gasps> even if we're not enjoying it and find this utterly boring. But we are, I think we're officially past halfway now. 
in my book. So, fun. That's fun. That's fun. We just need more James. I liked Will, but Will's gone. He's just gone wet flannel for me. Um, yeah, I don't even know what the story is anymore. <laughs> As if you could tell. 